Dr. Wilkinson, as I understand it, the hearing is still going on at, at this late hour? It is. We've been here for 13 hours and we're still not done. And the issue of uh, violation of the patient's privacy is something that Dr. Bernard uh, has uh, denied. And, and, and also the issue of uh, uh, the, the other issues involved uh, are things that, that she has made clear. She did indeed notify, made sure that authorities were notified about this 10-year-old girl being raped. Yeah, I mean, we've been watching the attacks on Dr. Bernard for the last year, but today has been especially hard to watch 13 hours of just persistent attacks and attempts to politically harass her for doing her job. Uh, let's listen to some of what Dr. Bernard has said today uh, at the hearing. I think that it's incredibly important for people to understand the real world impacts of the laws of this country about abortion or otherwise. I think it's important for people to know what patients will have to go through because of legislation that is being passed. And a, a hypothetical does not make that impact. It does not help people understand what is happening. Uh, why is the uh, hearing going on for so long? I mean, I think multiple people today have said that this is a hearing that is never, is unlike any other hearing that's ever happened at the Indiana Medical Licensing Board. I think that this case is unique. I think it's extreme. And I think for that reason, it's taking us over 12 hours to talk about it. And there are on that board uh, very heavy contributors, financial contributors to the state attorney general's uh, political campaigns, the Republican attorney general. And it is that attorney general who has brought this complaint against Dr. Bernard. I read that same article this morning about those political contributions, but ultimately this comes down to harassment and trying to intimidate physicians from being able to do their job, which is to take care of patients and offer them comprehensive health care, which includes abortion care in many cases and even in these horrific cases such as this particular patient that we've been talking about today. Uh, what are the possible penalties uh, that Dr. Bernard is facing? From my understanding, it can be every, anything from a letter of you know, disciplinary action to a fine to a suspension of her medical license, either temporary or permanently. But what is important is that whatever happens today is going to have repercussions in the medical field, as there are many people watching what's happening today, thinking about the care that they're providing their patients and wondering if they could be the next person in front of their medical licensing board. Uh, how, how are physicians uh, dealing with this now, knowing that these kinds of threats are out there? I mean, I think it is traumatic for all of us that's watching this, um, either on the ground in Indiana or virtually all over the country and all over the world. Ultimately, this type of political harassment has been happening to abortion providers for decades, but this has become much more the norm and on the national scale and can be perpetuated to many other fields outside of abortion providers.